Hi everyone. I hope you're all having a great afternoon and staying safe and healthy out there. As you might notice, I am sporting my I Am Strong Runner Stay Strong shirt. For those of you that received one, I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I am. My marketing tip today is going to be one of my best kept secrets. And I'm super excited to be sharing this with you all because I think it's a tool that you can all use that's going to be super helpful for creating your marketing materials. And that is Canva.com. You can create anything here. I basically use this for all the marketing materials that I create for ITS and that's because it's so user friendly and you don't have to have any design experience to get in here and start making some really great pieces. Um, I would know more than anybody else how complicated Photoshop and Illustrator are and there's really a learning curve to them but with Canva you can just get in here and start cranking out designs like no one's business. The way that you get started is you're just going to go to canva.com and then you do have to create an account but what also is awesome about Canva is they have a pretty decent free version. You can get in here, sign up, start playing around and even start creating your designs and downloading them and you don't ever have to pay for it. If you want more expanded options and you really start liking it and you're finding it really useful for your company, then you always have that option to upgrade to the higher versions that you pay for. After you log in, it is going to bring you to this dashboard. So if you scroll down here, it'll give you the option of creating a design. For the designs that you've went in and created previously, those are all gonna be right here. If you created something and you wanted to go in and make any changes, then you would do that there. Also, since this is a website, it is remote, so you can access it from anywhere. All you need is that login. And what's also really helpful about it is you can share your designs with other team members. If you want to go ahead and go in and start a design from scratch, then you're gonna go over here on the left and you're gonna click on create a design. And from there, Canva is gonna give you this drop down option. Um, if you wanted to make a social media post for Facebook, you would click social media, Instagram. There's tons of options on here. If you're looking to make a flyer, um, you wanna send out brochures, you can do that. So pretty much just anything. Um, or if you just want to go in and do something with your own custom dimensions, you always have that option as well. For today's example, I went ahead and clicked on social media post. As you can see, it's then going to bring you into this dashboard. You have the option to choose from templates that Canva's already created. So if you scroll over these templates, then it's either gonna say free or it won't. So obviously, if you have the free version, then you have the option to click on those templates and use them if you're not paying for a subscription. Obviously, if you're paying for pro, then you do have those more expanded options, but it still does give you a fair amount of stuff, I would say, in the free version as far as templates and photos go. If something isn't free, you can always just use it as inspiration. So you could just look at this photo and then basically start with your own blank canvas and recreate it for free. That's what I always do. Then as you scroll down here, this is basically just everything that you would need to create a social media post or whatever marketing material you're in here working on. Again, um, Canva does provide some free stuff uh, for photos, but you do have a lot more options with the pro subscription. And as you keep clicking down here, there's different elements that you can click on to add to your photo. So everything is just a drag and drop template. Resize, recolor up here. It's really simple. Delete if you don't want it anymore. You can just highlight, 
any text, any photo, swap it out for another photo, change the size, the font up here. I mean, it doesn't get much simpler than this. And that's why I said that I think that this is going to be a really great tool if you're not already using it. Some other options you have are frames. I use shapes a lot to put behind text, lines, icons, just anything that you would need to create a marketing piece. Text here. They have these cool combinations that you can put on your photo also. Another thing that I use a lot would be uploads. You can take your own photos or upload logos and then put them on your photos as well. I have a few logos um, from some of our timers on here from creating those virtual run brochures. But yeah, and then if you click the uploaded photo, then it's gonna populate over here and you have that option to work with those logos. You can always undo. It's just auto-populated that logo. So undo would be this button up here. When you're finished with a project, just make sure that you name it right here. You can click in there. And to actually download the image, whether that be because you want to download it and print it out, or you want to upload it to a place like Facebook, you go to this arrow have the option of how you want to download it. So if you're making a multi-page brochure, you would probably want to do a PDF, but if you're just doing an image for social media, then you would want to download it as a PNG. So then you would click that and then you would click download. Then it's basically just going to prepare the, the design and put it in my download. So it's right over here on the left. One other thing that I wanted to point out is just make sure you're saving. Sometimes it can be a little bit finicky once in a while. As with any program, you want to make sure as you're working on a piece that you're saving it periodically just to make sure that you don't lose any work that you've done in the past few minutes. You can always go back to home and then that piece is going to be under your designs now. See if it shows up, it should right here. Yep, there's photo. If I wanted to go in and make any changes to that, I can just click on that and it'll take me right back in there. As far as downloading that image goes, I'm gonna pull this over here. I am going to drag that to my desktop. And that photo is going to be ready to upload to Facebook. All I have to do is go into Facebook, create that new post, and drag the image in. And it's as simple as that. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys today. And let me know if you go in and start using Canva or what kind of experience you've already had using it. I'd be really interested to get some feedback.